This is Immerse Virtual Studio from Embody, and what this allows you to do is mix your music in a room uh, like you were in a high quality uh, million dollar studio room using only your headphones. So if you're traveling with say just a laptop or something, you have a small audio interface with you, you don't have your speakers with you, but you need to get something done. Well, you're not gonna have the sense of space when you're just mixing on headphones since you just have that pure left, right? You don't have the interaction of the room, the interaction of speakers. So your mix you know, possibly won't translate, possibly won't translate. Uh, once people start listening to your mix on, uh, you know, on speakers, or if you're mixing um, in a home studio that's not properly treated, you want to treat uh, or you want to check your mix, uh, what it would sound like in a proper studio on expensive speakers, different kinds of speakers and different kinds of studios, and uh, see how it sounds, see how it translates, you know, on different, uh, different rooms and different speakers. And of course, bypass this from time to time as well, and make sure it translates well to just uh, just pure headphones. With this turned on our virtual room, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna sound like in your headphones, it's gonna sound like uh, the sound is coming through speakers. We're gonna hear the crosstalk, you're gonna have your head related uh, transfer function, you're gonna have more of a sense of space. Now when I bypass this, you're literally gonna feel, you're gonna hear and feel the sound do this. It's gonna come back, you're gonna feel it come back and be full left, right. Okay, you're not gonna have that sense of space. So let's check this out real quick. Sense of space, right? It all just comes back, right? It moves back out. Right? It moves back out as if it's coming you know, from speakers, getting the crosstalk of the speakers getting the reflections of the room in your head-related uh, transfer function. Now understand this mix right here, or this song right here is already fully mixed, so it already translates really well onto headphones. So you would use this when you're mixing, you know, completely uh, unmixed, unaffected things to make sure that your mix translates uh, to as many different uh, places as possible. Now this is the all-access version of Immerse Virtual Studio. There are a few different versions uh, out there. You can always check it out over here on the site, of course, it will be in the uh, description below. So a bunch of different versions that you can check out. Again, this is the all access version. You can pay monthly, you can uh, pay for it all up front. If, you if you're just using it in Pro Tools, maybe you try the Avid version. If you have a certain kind of headphones, they just Audio Technica, you can get the Audio Technica version. And of course, there's uh, free trials of all of these as well. So you can check all of those out. Now, once you get your free trial or you purchase this, the first thing you'll do is enter your email address. You'll get a pin sent to your email. Go ahead and enter that pin into the software and you're going to get a QR code. Then you'll just take your phone and uh, hold your camera and you'll open your camera app, hold it over that QR code and head to that site. Make sure you allow access to your camera. And then you're, you're going to take a picture of your right ear and this is going to create a customized model of your ear so you have that customized uh, head related transfer function so that way it's more like you're actually standing in each of these studios than some just you know generic hrtf model uh, you can retake the picture make sure you get it exactly right and once you got it go ahead and accept it head back to the plugin it's going to download that information that was uploaded from your phone it's going to download your personalized ear model. Now you put Immerse Virtual Studio on your master output or whatever, you know, aux bus or whatever you happen to be using to uh, listen to the output of your, uh, of your DAW. So I just have it right here on the master. Here in the plugin, come up here to access your user profile. You can, if you need to submit a new image, you can do so right here to say new image right there. You can remove profiles with the minus, add profiles with the plus. Over here, now depending on the you know the version that you have, again, this is the all access version. You can choose from any kind of headphone at all. You can even type in, these are HD 280 Pros, so we can type that in and go right to the generic closed back because there's not a specific model for the headphones that I happen to be wearing. But if you have any of these models here, you can just select those uh, directly, load them up, come down to other, and we want generic. You can hide your controls if you just want to see the studio, or you can hide the studio if you don't need to see uh, those pictures. There are five different studios here. 
different pages, information down here about those studios, even videos you can watch about those studios if you want to check that stuff out. Within each studio, you have two different pairs of monitors that you can switch between either directly clicking on the monitors or using your speaker selection right down there. Here on the main control page, you have things like ambience. So the overall ambience of that room, you can turn the ambience off right over there. You can double click a slider to set it to your default. You have a master gain. So whenever you're playing back and you want to check this, you know, you want to bypass Immerse Virtual Studio to check it, you know, how your mix translates on just headphones. If there's a volume difference, you can compensate here uh, with that master gain. So just double click that, put that down to zero. Right. It's a little bit louder when it's bypassed, so I don't want to make some mixing decision based on volume. So I'll go ahead and make sure I even that out. Very good. You have a limiter, which you can turn off completely if you want. You can even change your output ceiling. Lock it to wherever you want. Again, just turn off the limiter if you don't want it. With your gear icon, you have your head related transfer function intensity. You can have a more intense effect towards this side and more of forensic detail in the mix down towards this side. Most people are probably, probably going to start around six or seven or so. And then adjust per, you know, per room. Some rooms, I kind of like it down a little more. Some it sounds, you know, better, a little uh, higher, like the Echo Bar Studio sounds a little better to me, somewhere between five, six or seven. And some of the other rooms sound a little better towards five, you know, two to five. Now, in this video, understand you're hearing, um, you know, all this audio being captured running through Immerse Virtual Studio is using my ear model. So uh, this might sound different to you than it sounds on uh, on the video. So go ahead and download the trial version and check it out uh, for yourself so you can decide if you like it or not. Then we have a balance so you can balance, you know, balance everything out. You can also kind of use it as, you know, turning your head uh, in the studio. If you're turning your head, you have a minimum phase response switch that you can turn on low latency right there. It might make your uh, listening ex experience better. If it does, turn it on. If it makes no difference, turn it off. You have a bypass during uh, offline bounce to disc. Now, you do want to bypass this whenever you're uh, bouncing out. So just make sure whatever DAW you're using or however you're bouncing things out, make sure to bypass this. Uh, again, here in Pro Tools, we have the option uh, to bypass during offline bounce automatically. All right. So again, bypass this whenever you're bouncing out. You don't want to include the virtual room in your mix. This is just for mixing to make sure that your mix translates to more uh, uh, to more places. So let's go ahead and check it out now on some unmixed sources. So you can see more of why you would want to use something like this here. Uh, we'll go here to these drums. And I'll start with the bypass. Okay. So we're just hearing full isolated left, right. We're not feeling the space of those symbols, the space of the toms, none of that stuff. So let's go ahead and pop this on. And again, you're going to feel the sound move out as if it's coming from speakers. Again, you're getting the crosstalk of the speakers, the reflections of the room, et cetera, et cetera, right? You're going to you're literally going to feel it move out. much more surrounding now. So when it comes time to mix these drums, uh, you're going to want some space so you can balance things a little bit better, balance your cymbals, balance your toms as you move them around. Once you start adding effects, this even becomes uh, even more important because you don't want your, you don't want to overdo something whenever you're just full left and right. And then once you get out into the real world with speakers, then it just doesn't sound right. Let's check out some more drums here. Uh, Let's go to this kick and uh, this snare here, and you'll really hear this, uh, what uh, Immerse Virtual Studio is good for here. Okay, so it's on right now, we bypass it. Everything moves back. But what if I did something crazy, like taking the snare and putting it fully to the right? Now you wouldn't actually do this, but hear how this sounds 
with Immerse Virtual Studio Bypassed. Everything's right there, right? I get no sense of space, no sense of being in a, in a room at all. So let's go ahead and pop on Immerse Virtual Studio. Let's head over here to this room. And now we'll play back and we're still gonna hear it on one side, but we're gonna have more of a sense of space, again, of being in an actual room, the same way you'd hear it if you took your headphones off and listened through your speaker. So actually do that. I'm gonna bypass this one more time. Take your headphones off. I can't because I have to hear the microphone, but take them off. I'm gonna play back, listen to it, put them back on, and then we'll turn this on. All right, go ahead and put your headphones back on. Let's enter our virtual room, and it's gonna sound much more like uh, it just did with your headphones off. There we go. Or we still have it, you know, directionally from the right, but it sounds like you're in a room versus this, where it's just, it's pushed back, right? Okay. So that is why you would want to use something whenever you're mixing on just headphones to make sure that your mixes translate uh, to more places. If you bring in your cymbals, it even becomes more, uh, more apparent. So I bypass this. I'm losing a lot of directionality of those cymbals. You can head through your rooms, choose whatever you prefer. Let's check this out on some piano here. We'll start with just uh, just the piano. I'll bypass it for now. Okay, sounds good. Bring in our room. Again, cross talk of those speakers, sense of being in a room, so you can make better mixing choices. Now this will become even more apparent once we bring in these vocals that we have uh, laid in under this piano right here, because we have a reverb and delay on this. And with reverb and delay, it's a, you know, this funnily enough is called spaced out. But if we're just listening through headphones, we don't really have any real space to, uh, to adjust this uh, effect with, do we? Let's go and bring this back up. We're gonna bypass it for now. And if I were setting up this reverb, just having my left and right and not really having any sense of space, I may end up oversaturating it in order to create that sense of space wearing just headphones, right? I don't have much of a sense of space here, so I might end up saturating it a bit more. Sounds pretty good in my headphones. But once you take off your headphones and listen to it through your speakers, which I've already done, it's just completely washed out. So if you're, you know, using all the all these spatial kinds of effects, and even if you're using compression and things like that, you need to understand how your mix is going to translate in the, uh, you know, in the real world. So I'll leave the setting like this, even though I know it's wrong. We'll bring in our virtual room here, and it's going to sound way too washed out. Way too much, right? Turn up the volume a bit. Just too much. Now I happen to know that this sounds best right about there. And now once we hear this in the room, we're gonna have our sense of space with this reverb and delay, and it's gonna translate better through just headphones, uh, through, through of course our virtual mix room, through my real room here, my real speakers, through your car earbuds, whatever you happen uh, to be using. So let's check that out. I'm gonna turn the volume back down to about where it needs to be. Right, it's not oversaturated, not, not too much reverb, just right.
So that should show you why you would want to check your mix in a real room and not just mix, not just rely on pure headphones. Of course, as I said, you want your mix to translate on headphones as well. So let's bypass this. Right, still sounds really good because I referenced using a real room and didn't just oversaturate it, trying to create a sense of space when I'm really just locked uh, to left and right there. All right, so that is Immerse Virtual Studio from Embody Overall. Really easy to use. You know, there's a lot of programs like this out there today. So uh, this one is worth checking out as well. Again, check out that free trial. You can use it for uh, several days absolutely for free. Just uh, you want to check it out. Head right over here. Of course, I'll have this link in the, uh, in the description below. Scroll down here. You want to uh, get the free trial. All access version. Again, that's what we're using in the video but there are other versions here that you can try out as well. So be sure to check out Immerse Virtual Studio and check your mix using only headphones. Check your mix in high quality, multi-million dollar studios using several different, uh, very expensive speakers and get your mix sounding its best. Even if you have your own speakers, your own monitors, it might be a good idea to uh, you know check it in some other studio rooms just to see how it translates. Make sure your mix sounds its best, no matter where it's being played back. So that is Immerse Virtual Studio from Embody.